Okay, now let's go ahead and find the average of the following decimals. We are given 95 hundredths, 80, 82 hundredths, um, 44 hundredths, 65 hundredths, and 89 hundredths, right? So you got 0 0.95, 0 0.82, 0 0.44, 0 0.65, and 0.89. What you got to do is find the average and round to the nearest hundred. All right, so let's see. Find the average, write the formula out. Not be shy. Sum of all values divided by the quantity of values. All right? So, okay. Let's sum it up. 0.95 plus 0.82 plus 0.44 plus 0.65 plus 0.89. All divided by how many numbers do we have all together? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if we have 5, let's go ahead, divide by 5. Whenever we add, so we're just working on our numerator right here. Whenever we add decimal values, right, we're going to line up the uh, places, right? So we'll have our ones place, our tenths place, and our hundredths place, right? So we've got 0 0.95, 0 0.84, 0.65, 0 0.89, right? So, add them all together. But notice how I flanked them all apart, right? Okay. And now make sure they're always lined up. The decimals are always lined up. Okay, now, add up your hundredths. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11, 11 plus 5 is 16, 16 plus 9 is 25, put a 5 here, put a 2 up here, 2 plus 9 is 11, 11 plus 8 is 19, 19 plus 4 is 23, 23 plus 6 is 29, 29 plus 8 is 32. Um, so 3 plus 0 is 3, 3 plus 0, just go ahead and just... Three, a zero plus three will just give me three. Re replace back the decimal. So that's your numerator right here. I'm just going to go ahead and loop it back to the top, right? So your numerator is 3.25 divided by 5. So go let's go ahead and find out what that's equal to. Your numerator is 3.25. 25, 5 is the divisor, because remember, the formula, it's your denominator on the outside is your divisor, and your numerator is on the inside as your dividend, okay? So let's go ahead and try this. 3 divided by 5, can't do it. 32 divided by 5, can do it. 6 times. Um, 6 times 5, 30. Subtract. Minus 0, 30. Do my three, zero, something like that. Carry down the five, 25 divided by five. Five to five, five. Okay, now go ahead and replace back the decimal in your quotient from your dividend, right? So this decimal here, I'll end up here. Now, because this already has a hundredths place, it's already rounded to the nearest hundredths place, okay? So this is, will be your final answer.